And when I go through other stories, what is making trends, and now I'm coming to Uganda Entertainment World, and uh, I'm talking about a Grenade official as well, has come to officially announce his concert that is going to be most likely this year. He said, uh, actually, it was a struggling artist, a Grenade official has signed a new management uh, deal with, that is Mayfield Management Company, and uh, believes that uh, uh, things are good things are, are coming on his way uh, this very year. He is also, uh, he has also promised to a concert for his fans who have supported him for uh, over five years and uh, uh, then blogger hitmaker believes uh, that he will actually uh, he, uh, he has numbers he has a big following and uh, is praying uh, to make it happen and of course when that time he said no one can put me down this year with the talent I have and the hard work I have invested uh, Mayfield uh, management is ready to support me against anyone who wants to stand in the way I know there will be a, a grenade concert this year and I am more prayerful this year that is what he said on an interview actually uh, this very uh, Thursday that was yesterday out there many concerts are coming many concerts Ray G uh, concert Fefe Busi announced concert uh, uh, Lydia Jasmine already has a concert today Rema had a concert last weekend and now grenade official has a, has a concert then also uh, the, 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 the Cheza for Yesu as well hit me has a concert this year very many concerts are, are running up then as well as grace Khan has a concert wow it's gonna be a busy year though and when i put that aside still another story so rema namakula also came out and endorsed uh, lydia jasmine's concert a musician rema namakula has returned uh, the favor to lydia jasmine by endorsing her concert which is gonna take place today rema took on social media uh, platforms and and actually rallied her fans to turn up uh, for the concert and support lydia jasmine and of course she's gonna be performing as well uh, today just like Lydia Jasmine as well turned up during her concert last weekend she said ladies and gentlemen this Friday at Hotel Africana come let's support uh, that is uh, Lydia Jasmine come let's show her love that is what she wrote on her social media and of course she attached a poster of Lydia Jasmine's show that is gonna be taking place today so make sure you as well part of this one just supporting our talent Ugandan talent Ugandan music to the world when I put that aside uh, this one is a little bit of current affairs uh uganda government uh, comes to streamline a uh, use of swahili language in case you don't know swahili it's a high time you should learn part of this the government has proposed the establishment of the swahili council as the government agency that will protect uh, uh, sorry promote uh, the usage of swahili language in uganda the proposal is contained in the ugandan national Kiswahili Council Bill 2023 that was uh, actually tabled for first reading by the State Minister for Gender and of course that is a Honorable Helen Asamo. On Wednesday 28th uh, February 2023 uh, the bill uh, seeks uh, to operationalize the article 6 clause 2 of the Constitution and the, 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 uh, and the protocol on the establishment of the East African Kiswahili Commission article that is a six close to uh, read that act the submit uh, the subject to close one of the article any other language may be used as a, a medium or uh, of instructions in schools or other educational institutes uh, or uh, for legislative administrative and judicial uh, purposes uh, as may be uh, preserved right there of course uh, so it's a high time you should as well learn Swahili because uh, actually the government is actually soon streamlining Kiswahili language to be in use officially in education sector uh, courts of laws media so make sure we, act, we can actually teach these kids. For us, it might be hard, but you can teach your children Kiswahili language. Yes, because now we are part of our East African community, so it's going to be kind of the community language right there. So that is actually what I had for you on my trend zone today.